expect expectations of Seattle to be able to win. Maybe expectations the same as me being able to complete a sentence, Miles. Woo! Well, we'll find out what will be complete here. We're starting the series off with a fun one, some six star. It has been a welcome addition to the league thus far. Spicy hard point, a little bit of everything for everyone. And most importantly, another shenanigan riddled hill over by the pool. We'll find out if Seattle are truly the kings of the seas. The six star is upon us. Optic Text is going to be a tough opponent. And they're hosting champs. That was a surprise announcement. Half huh, fans? Yeah, no, it came out of nowhere for me, sure, but excited to get into that. And of course, well, from Optic, I mean, almost assuredly going to qualify. These guys have been fantastic. Seattle, much more desperate to get those points, and the desperation might continue even off the opening break. Surge struggling just for a bit. Sharksy, I think, is what we're going to call him on this map. Able to start off 2 0. Optic getting a decent chunk of time. Maybe bad news, they haven't flipped the spawns just yet, but certainly they're keeping the map stable. Yeah, spicy opener. Nice work there from Bregio 4 joining in there in the feed, keeping that hard point very much in the hands of Seattle Surge. Kenny there, up top by the DJ booth, finding at least a bit of damage. But 04 flushes him out, takes care of business. Over to Bruce, not really letting anyone over towards this side of the map. We're going top right hand side towards the lounge. That is going to be our next hard point. And so far, Optic, the lead is dissipated. It's a lovely comeback there in the second half of the first hard point from Surge, but now the new one beckons. Yeah, well, Surge also just hand and gift wrapped that uh, spawn rotation over towards Optic. So Surge dropping the ball and Well, guys like Kenny taking full advantage, playing the distant depths of the map right now. Just hold on to the spawns and his instincts on point. The Gunny, however, hands of 04, able to put the pressure on the flank while the hit's coming through the front to Surge. One gunfight from 04, and they are able to break it right down. Who needs to rotate when you can bully your way through like that? Yeah, one fight was all really took. Great work there from Seattle. Boot continuing the run. Here comes Shotzi. Nades are there. Taking on old teammates. Not enough, though. Beautiful work from Dashi. Perfect timing with the coverage. 04 still alive for a moment. Last man. Breji wins it. A few more super seconds going the way of Seattle. Yeah, he's holding back with nades as well, stopping Pred in his track. So looks like that SMG duo, Pred and Shotzi, debating on whether or not when they push it or they want to go prone, wait for the kills to fall into their lap, but they get picked apart along the way. Neither Pred nor Shotzi able to pick up a kill. Good news, though, from Optic. At least one of them will spawn right in the back. So for Surge, a brief moment, and with the team kill coming through to break down the unbreakable hill. However, it looks like the AR players from Optic showing just how difficult it can be. There is a dent made, but not enough, except for the back spawns coming through. Yeah, it was a dent. Still close, though, from Pred, and he is on his belly. Oh, my God, the timing. Is it going to matter? No, it finds at least one. That's going to count for now. Shots, he can't get the second of Boozer winning another brilliant 1v1 engagement. 5-5 five and five for him, but those kills have been so important for getting the hill. Can he take down Dashi now on the approach? P3, a tough one to get into. A tough cookie to crack. Who's cracking cookies? Questions and answers that we will not be getting here with 23 to go on the point. It's a good look from Surge. Uh, this is a great look from Surge, too. Maybe a small mistake on the rotation there by optic right two smg players fall then the team made that rolls through opens up the door on a hill that is i mean maybe the biggest money hill on this map but if it's not this one maybe it could be p4 opportunity from optic to show off the goods but abuza just being a nuisance keeping those players away as he gets traded out though everybody on seattle seemingly gonna fall to the hands of kenny and the full 60 might be on board had about 35 seconds as the hill popped we'll check the score after the hill ends we'll see you guys Pred's going to be the front man here. He's got Dashi to back him up. Top security is going to be Kenny overwatching the boys. And in the meantime, shots, he's doing the wrap. Here comes Hukuna Booze over the top side. Bridgie coverage. No one able to find these openers yet. Kenny with a perfect angle there. Keeping the boys safe. It's three in the feed for Optic. They're going to hold this one together. 30 to go. Yeah, that was so easy, too. Nice, simple play. Shotzi roaming the middle of the map, and he's just playing the timings on the flanks. He's waiting for his team to get engaged and then jumping in from the kill. And, well, Shotzi lets that destruction continue. All these errant kills, Surge is feeling the pressure. You see, even after they actually get the break over towards old, still turned and worried about Shotzi. So it might have not have been the full 60 optic we're looking for, but they do win the rotation battle again. Kenny making his way towards the pool. His teammates picking up all the kills and Optic Texas, they flipped the switch when they needed to. A good hold here in the comeback well and truly will be in. Kenny has got his flippers and his armbands on. He's the one soaking the time in the pool, not just the sun. Nice work from shots on the top bar side. Gets two before him being brought down by 04. That's going to be still wonderful time going the way of Optic Texas. Here comes the hit. And Prez going to be in the feed just to slow the surge players down on the approach towards this pool. Kenny, nice work again. Optic, it's watertight by the pool. Another for Kenny. Great time again.
Hills water tight and well Kenny the guy to seal it shut that is a perfect hold at least so far still 25 seconds left and you see like the two different games the optic teams are almost playing where Shotzi always in the mix being annoying shooting players in the back and everybody else it is the funnel system there is a cruise for Kenny a near perfect full 60 on the pool hill and well I think they're going to be able to take the lead as well that is two hills back to back where Optic again flip the switch, make the comeback and well surge right now. They need to stop the bleeding. They have a very tight setup around P1. Yeah, wonderful first go around of the hard points from six star. The first set, both teams relatively even Stevens. We'll see if Seattle Surge can find some success in the second turn. Shotzi looking for the end three kills under the point. A mere single before being taken care of. Surge are back on it. Abuza, the man on your screen, keeping the time flowing for his boys. Now keeping the air safe. As that trophy system goes down, it's a contest. The Kenny is in there, and he is having one hell of a map so far. Yeah, 04 was down by the pool, but he left the lane open for Kenny just to go and break it down. So him and his team on a different page in that small moment. And once again, Optic still at least holding down the right side spawn, struggling to get the kills, though. They're going to go four down. So final 20 seconds, Surge going to be able to collect that with ease. But instead of going for the spawns, you see the angle Breggie's taken. Doesn't quite have the uh, the stair thing going in full effect, but he's waiting for maybe Dashi to over approach just a little bit. Surge waiting for the kills to fall into the lap. First one's going to be successful. Next one's successful as well for Breji, forcing Pred to back down, and Optic might have the spawns, but for the moment, they do not have the time. Ook looking for five. Doesn't get it. Pred's there. Optic swarming the inside of the lounge. Anything but relaxing in this tiny little square. Breji on the outside. It's Dashi to bring him into the death screen and whoa four nice turn and burn with the Renetti keeping the time going though it's optic as Kenny manages to fly out of vents and hook back at it it's non-stop action Red ain't walking out of that event without a haircut and that is again a non-stop flurry of action that Seattle come out on top yeah, and 04 has been on point on this hill as well. Get some kills, stay alive, let Hook show up and trade out a couple for you. And meanwhile, just soaking up that time. So a strong P2 for Seattle. Final 15 seconds, though. Optic are going to take it. But this is, a, again, in my opinion, the true money hill on this map. Surge, get the setup. And we got to go to a listen in as well to see how they sound. What can he? In front hop, they're going front. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back up, back up. They're shooting. Don't get shrieked. I'm gonna be yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm seeing here. I'm seeing here. Nothing wrong, guys. They get shrieking. Why is he killing me? He fucked up. On time, on time. That's right. Yeah, MP1, MP1. I'm watching wood. 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 I sent someone you stitch, you stitch. Yeah, he's gonna hit P1, he's gonna hit P1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have you. We got I'm watching you, I'm watching you. Yeah, give me a second, give me a second. He's sucking, watch out! 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 He's sucking, watch Exceptionally fantastic volume from Hook there in the Seattle Surge listening and that man wants it chance. Oh, yeah, say nothing about Hook, if not being the most intense people in the league. Kenny, well, he dominated the pool hill last time. This go around gets traded out. Pred, natural habitat here in the water. 
These are the ever-present battles. Oh, four, pull out a pistol. Does this man not have a pistol? He does. I like it, though. He's trying to bait Pred out and let his boys get a little bit closer, and that is what? exactly what he was hoping for. Shots here, Dashy, though, go spearfish and take care of O4. He was hoping for some help. Didn't really get it. Can Breggy get in there now? He's hunting for a Pred. But that Apex Predator is absolutely... He's just juked him from down low. No one can oh find him. God. They can't track him down. It's so difficult to get into the pool, Dashy. He's the lifeguard right now. And no one gets close. I thought shooting fish in a barrel was supposed to be easy. They're having a staring contest with bread. Can't get it done in well optic off of that hill. That is how they end up taking the lead. But back towards P1 we go. Surge are going to be here first. The steps push coming in from optic. And they got the pinch as well. Abuzo fighting for his life. Doesn't last long. The pinch is in. Optic currently have the time. Dashi, the king of the hill, soaking it away. This is the game ender if you could hold on to it for optic. Seattle fighting their way forward. It's a funnel through this side of the map. Dashi pressing them back. Pred with the nades. He's run out though. Can Dashi get it done here at close and personal with a Renetti? Can he comes to save the day? Optic still soaking it. 10 for the win. And the awkward spawn flips get red as well. Last ditch effort here coming in from 04. Cannot last Optic off of the domination of the pool hill. They're gonna get it done on six star. They stop the Seattle surge on slot. And Seattle looked fantastic from the get-go there. That was a very, very strong race from them, but not enough to close it out there as Optic. It was the pool hill. I think you called the statue hill as well. Chance with shots. He got there quite early. And again, that P3 we saw in the second set, endless contest there. A battle of attrition from Optic that they walk out on top with. Seattle surge, good pace, great shots. Not enough in the end. Six star comes to a close. Map one in the books. Yeah, and that's an interesting one as well. Surge, it looks like just getting completely mollywopped in the damage category. Like Kenny threw up 6K. No one could even break five on the side there for Seattle. So certainly on the kills front, on the damage front. And even those assist numbers from Optic Texas are bonkers comparatively towards Surge. But I think really it was uh, that really like P3 Hill. Surge go into it. It's a money hill. They had like a 180 to 130 lead, something along those lines. And then Optic Texas literally just bullied them from the front side of it. Constantly able to get the jump ups to the, the top high able to flood around through long and like it was fighting tooth and nail it's not like optic got a good chunk of time but the fact that they had enough slaying power and pressure that surge wasn't able to get the time well optic flipped the maps on their head and certainly p4 and p5 are where texas had the most success so really just a, a skill diff i would say in the kills column there from optic that bought them map number one yeah, crazy. I mean, especially some of those more open hard points, these pull hard point, really long lines, brilliant angles, and fantastic. There's interlocking coverage from the Optic boys. They're always watching over each other. It was so hard for Seattle Surge to get in there. You know, it didn't really matter. There wasn't any trophies necessarily at play. It was just getting to the pool seemingly impossible. Great work there of Optic. As we look across the highlights, Hoop, though, once again, masterclass individual moments, but not quite enough in the team side. Chemistry there from Seattle Surge. Still lacking a little bit. We'll see if they can't find a little bit more. 04 still relatively new to the squad. Plenty of time yet to come there. Kenny, though, chance once again. Optics MVP, without a doubt. Oh, yeah, no, Kenny is a straight up monster. I mean, the Hilltown, fantastic. Main Slayer as well. Damage output was there. We're seeing the flanks he's making at the same time. So, always those heads up, high IQ plays. But you see the fight that Optic just had to bring to the table. Literally off the back foot, just from the jump, the entire game. Didn't take the lead until the, I mean, quite literal last hill. So, that is impressive, efficient work from Optic to be able to pull off that resolve. But, I mean, for Surge, really, just sort of dropping the ball. Again, it was like that first P3 rotation, like Optic had the air. It was the dashy team kill on Pred. It was one guy spawning out, not getting into the mix. So, like, a small mistake early. But then after that, even off the back foot, Optic's on point. I just want to know why 04 was just staring at Pred in the water. I'm still so confused by this. I think he was honestly, like, he was hoping he picked, like, called him out. Maybe he life picked him, who knows? But, like, just waiting for his boys to show up. Because we've seen how inconsistent the Renetti can be in those gunfights. Pred fired, like, three bursts. Nothing landed. He was absolutely fine. So I think he was maybe waiting for some help, waiting for someone with an MCW yeah. or a Rival 9 from up top. Who knows? Difficult situation to be in. But either way, man, the pool, it's an absolute mess every single time. Uh, we, we've actually got, like, we've got a clip. Here's Pred's POV. So this is what it looks like when you're underwater and he sees 04 coming. I mean, this is great anyway. But look at that. Not a single bullet. Oh, well, yeah. 
So I thought he's playing <laughs> that space really well. He knows how hard these fights are to take, but Dashi's there for the coverage. So what you were going for there from Surge is one thing, but Pred and Optic just a little bit too much there. Pool hard point, boys and girls. Take note, it's an absolute pain in the ass. Yeah, and I guess seeing the pistol shots from Pred on 04, maybe 04, it's like, there's no point. Like, the bullets aren't going to connect anyway, so why bother? So, might have answered that question, but Pred looking like one of the best Australian swimmers out there. Ian Thorpedo, if you will. I do love the deep cut. Also, I got to say, great form in the water. Like, that's absurd acceleration yeah. you have from, like, a zero mile per hour starting point. So, uh, Michael Phelps literally could learn from the, the character models in Call of Duty. Absolutely. This is very, very deep swimming analysis coming out yes. of uh, Chance there. But good stuff. That's the first map in the books. We go back to six star for our final map in the series as well. But hey, man, exciting, exciting stuff. A very, very fun series uh, so far ahead of us. I think, uh, I don't know, Chance, for me, CL Surge, it's tough seeing that they made it all the way to the end of the race, only to be overtaken on the final corner there. So, you know, it was the checkered flag for the Optic Boys. That's good staying power, though, against a team of this caliber. I don't necessarily think you're going to see that in any other hard point in this series if we get to go there. Uh, but that's sort of the treat of Six Star still being quite a new map. Not everyone has it down. It shows their potential. Yeah, maybe uh, an early showing for the uh, maybe quick learning curve that this team could potentially have. Or, again, just getting bullied out and outslayed. But I know for the sake of search and destroy, 04, new man on the squad, that is certainly where he has made his name. So maybe look for some pop-off potential. Of course, Optic Texas, a very dangerous team to be going against their SMD, also top-notch. Oh my god, well, we'll see how it goes. SD so far in the uh, major three qualifiers, Optic looking good, looking very, very good. Seattle Surge not terribly far behind there at fourth. I mean, we'll see uh, We'll see how this one goes. This should be this should be a real good contest between both our teams. Hooks comms in the hard point. Another talking point there. And we've not heard him be that loud. I mean, throughout Hooks' career in the comms charts, there are times where he's silent killer. There's times where he's the guy, you know, ne not necessarily leading the charge like we heard him there. I'm very interested. I wish we could listen to the Sensation Destroy just to hear what it would be like. But so far, I think a, a very passionate Seattle Surge looking to right the wrongs and turn this entire season around. And a tough team to do it against, but a fantastic test for them here against Optic Texas. And it's going to be a fun one as well on high rise specifically. Certainly not the uh, most played map there from Optic, but an opportunity for a map where you can make a great number of plays. I mean, I'm even learning from like the 1v1 streams from Shotzi. You can dolphin dive from the top crane to get back on the main section of the map. Never would have thought that to be possible. Showing off the creativity of like shooting the canisters next to the propane tank to get the timing for the explosion. So Shotzi is certainly a player. His in-game IQ basically uncontested he is quite literally a wizard on the sticks in game so yeah i know optic have certainly been putting in the uh the work on the overtime and it'll be fun to see if surge actually can contest i know they're going to need some degree of the pop-off potential but it is certainly a squad that has it uh don't forget as well today is dashi's birthday what a day uh, birthday, Bruce. What a, he's, he's having to go to work on his birthday and put up some big numbers Damn, a day birthday. early for him too he's got to be so <laughs> disappointed by that <laughs> he's having to uh put up numbers this is what they've been looking like against the bottom eight teams though big bruce he and the boys have been having a very very good time so far the top four this season absolutely cemented written in stone etched in marble and at champs later on this year under that optic texas banner we'll be seeing a big old event crowning the greatest team in the world in the mw3 season history written i'm excited to get this mate there was one thing i wanted to bring up you talked about shotsy in the 1v1 situation isn't it crazy that pred is his practice noob is it that <laughs> I will say that's a disrespectful. B the hard points. It was a different story. So <laughs> the practice new, very intense. Pred in the hard point. I, think, I can't. There's like shoot house, whatever the name of the map is. Uh, yeah, just a lot of fun content coming out from the optic team, as is tradition on the content side of things. But I know these players are gonna be feeling good going into map two. A 13 and one like record count overall against the bottom four teams is insane. And if I remember the graphic uh, right, we had at the start of the series, or maybe it was at the top of the show, surge against the top four teams. I think their map record was three and 21. So their series record has been dismal, but even on a map record front, shout out Danny, big fan. Yeah, three and 21 record overall. That is like, that's really bad, Miles. I don't, like, I needed a thesaurus to go through like the actual lengths to find the appropriate word, but. Again, maybe just dismal or dire or desperation against the top four.
look, it could be way worse. It could have been. Right now, it could actually be 4 and 20, but, you know, that would be pretty perfect. But we can't have that, can we? I mean, it's still it's tomorrow. But regardless, 3 and 21 versus the top dogs, not ideal. See how surge, though, this series is far from over. And we're seeing, again, like, what well, Nameless brought up on the desk, you know, you get some of those funky picks from Optic Texas, maybe not necessarily the best of the best they've got. That's what Surge are able to take these moments. Abuza, though, talking about the 1v1s earlier in the day. Here's the stats from that as well, chances. S and D. Dashi is number one in the clutch department, and this is just a wonderful, wonderful treat for those at home keeping count. Both of these two players in this matchup, in s and they're going to be the ones we're keeping our eye on. And I'm doing this uh, off the top of my head, so I might be slightly incorrect, but I know the clutch is stat entirely. It is your 1v1s, 1v2s, 1v3s, and 1v4. So any 1v whatever situation you have in S&D, not only is Booze the second highest on the list, but I think he's like the number one when it comes to the 1v2 or 1v3s as well. So it's not like he's being gift wrapped at a bunch of like 1v1s. Like he is earning so many of these clutches that he has been having. So if you're in the uh, contentions of guys like Insight and Dash, those are great people to share a podium with in any given statistical category, clutches especially so in S&D. So that is a man to pay a great deal of attention to in the later ends of the rounds. I know certainly at the start, who can be an absolute first blood machine. He is the record currently in the year for most first bloods on a map. And I mean, 04, a very dynamic playmaking caliber sort of S&D star as well. So Seattle Surge maybe uh, building a puzzle with the pieces they have for the game mode and we'll see exactly how they can contend with optic on high rise if we get to it you know? oh we'll get to it i one little thing i wanted to bring up a boozer in his player cam the only player cam we have available for seattle surge uh that ethernet cable running just in front of his little backdrop is a nice shade of seattle blue i love that those boys are on brand that's what i'm talking about baby you think atlanta phase are on the red ones chance that's why they're so fast online I, look, I'm not the right guy for this job. Someone's got to call call Killa, see what he's doing at the moment, and get the intel. He will have detailed statistics of different colored cables and how well they perform. So maybe this is something he could give advice to Surge on if they can't quite close the hard points out. Maybe staying on theme gives you a boost, but uh, this is somewhere where you know my intellect gets dwarfed by uh, some of the greater Call of Duty minds. Well, uh, speaking of great Call of Duty minds, the boost is out. See you, mate. I don't see think you, we're, <laughs> I think we're going to get this match started in a, anytime soon something must be wrong with the lobby but we'll get there asap friends optic texas get a nice somewhat after their hot performance there on six star we're gonna go to high rise and tomorrow i'm sure there'll be plenty of high eyes on 420 it happens every now and then folks you have to stay strapped in make sure you're on the edge of the seat because at any given moment a dad joke is on its way. Optic Text is now just passing on some like last minute chats. Preds showing the boys something like a crazy meme he's just spotted or something. And again, for the folks who missed the announcement, Optic Texas, they will be hosting champs this year. The league is looking very, very different indeed. The green brick wall up top is now a gold one for the championship weekend 2024. Grab your tickets right now. I know some folks are having difficulties uh, doing that. I've been receiving some, uh, some tweets, but optic.link forward slash champs. I, the website, you're drowning it. You're absolutely drowning it. You're clogging it up. Everyone's doing the very best job they can to get those tickets. July 18th to the 21st this year at the Credit Union of Texas Event Center. There are some great pictures circulating online already and already discussions about how they might be setting up the venue. We'll leave that to greater minds than ours. Get your tickets while you can. I have no doubt that they are selling out fast. I'm starting to think getting older is having like a growing appreciation for credit unions because seeing that like being the event uh, center is going to be very exciting for me in my old age. But I know exactly what Pred is talking about. They're just going over the bot of Surge and how they'd like to play high rise. Obviously, statistically Surge very strong on this map, granted with a brand new roster. But it wouldn't surprise me at all if Pred is like going through the Challengers VOD, going through O4's personal stream and just clipping out high rise things specifically. I know Pred is incredibly intense when it comes to the preparation uh, and that is clearly what he is saying to his teammates yeah he's definitely not looking at memes or watching fight highlights or i mean dashi's very engaged shotzi as well I and mean, i i can't tell you it with absolute certainty what order they're sitting in right now kenny's not having it though he's uh, yeah kenny is off to well stage right yep. but our left or i don't know if that's stage left i don't know kenny's on the far right side fred is in the middle of dashi and shotzi and dashi is at the opposite end of kenny 
Do you remember, I think it was the Cold War season where we had like a separate stream set up, which was run by the Optic guys and it was just showing their player oh, yeah. area. I loved that. I mean, I know they could hear me. You should bring that back, boys. It was great to watch the reactions in real time. It was great to, you know, everyone could just sort of watch the fellas sitting doing their thing. And I mean, I remember a lot of weird comments about footwear. Footwear all the time. It was like, who's wearing slides? Who's wearing, you know, Birkenstocks? It was, it was, it was, a, it was an interesting time to be on the internet and alive watching Call of Duty. It's strange times. Those are deep memories. I know Optic, again, always on point on the content front and obviously on point with the behind the scenes content aspects as well. So whether it be that specific camera in the background or I mean, they'll do stuff like at events with this where they'll show like the uh, sort of coaches corner behind the stage. And you can see the look of like how stressed out the coaches get more stressed out than the players more often than not. Uh, certainly when the intense matches are going on, because you can see exactly how stressed out Optic Texas is in this moment. And by that, I mean Shotzi doing his best to stay awake as he's peering into heaven. He's thinking, yo, chat, what is this? Is this where he gets his strats from? Like heaven opens up and just the light bestows upon him Call of Duty knowledge? Well, I do think- this Is this how he does it? There's, uh, there's an old, uh, I think it's the Greeks had this idea about what, you know, genius is. Genius isn't something that you have. Genius is something that comes to you and it, it finds different ways, whether it lives in your home, whether it visits you when you're on the road, when you're walking, you're thinking. It's not something that people have. It's something that is, is bestowed upon them at a seemingly random moment in time. There's a great moment with Tom Waits, the singer-songwriter, was driving down the LA freeway. He didn't quite know what was going on. All of a sudden, bang, genius struck. And he didn't have any way of writing down that moment because he was driving at, you know, 80 miles an hour on the freeway. So he looked up at the heavens and he shouted, can you not see that I'm driving right now? Shotzi, though, lucky enough, sat there in his sweet razor chair. Genius hit. And it went straight in that head. And Tom Way, it's a man that'll be going out west, serving as inspiration for Bane and maybe inspiration for these players on our leaderboard. Overall, KD, Kleenex is a standout because the 1.34 looks fantastic. However, all that I see is Gwyn with 205 kills already. That's what happens That's when you break the uh, this series record for the year. You stand like a titan amongst the rest of the league. Of course, you have Toronto only played a single match, so the KD obviously looking a little bit better. But just to see Gwent up there that high, that is a spectacle. And I want to know if he can actually keep that sort of momentum going. But certainly watching him play, he is genuinely a very fierce player. So worth watching for sure. The crazy thing as well is Gwent's got so many deaths as well. Like. Oh, yeah. put his game five matchups, obviously their series are running a little longer than the others, but absolutely unbelievable work. For those of you who missed Gwyn's performance today in that opening match against the New York Subliners, well worth watching. The game five in particular, Gwyn is an absolute pimp. He was slapping all series long, a historic and record-breaking performance. And God, ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you what, we're ready. Woo! It's time to get in a high rise. Map number two. Weird stories for about three more hours, by the way. We could have done this for as long as needed. Hope you're all comfortable. Hope you're all ready. Things are about to get very, very salacious here on High Rise s &D. I was so prepared to get into my like lore book from Gwen and go back and talk about being molded over the years. Now, we got an 0-4 record versus a 3-0 record. Shout out 0-4 in the game, on the map, and on the uh, graphics as well. What a name, 04. Not bad. Yeah, it gets a bit. Oh, mother. <laughs> I'm ready. Get in, we got you, Dad. Chat. Hey, who got you? We got you all. A whole chat right now. Uh, it's just, just, oh, magical. All right, we're into this. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, an absolute roller coaster of emotions. His pride already making his way up the map. He is near a very dangerous thing, and that is a massive exploding canister. I thought Shotzi would have taught him, but still so much to learn. In case you're new to Call of Duty and High Rise, yes, it explodes. Yes, it will kill you. Yeah. <laughs> That's good life advice. <laughs> Back to the philosophy, yeah. brother. Yes, it explodes. Yes, it will kill you. 04 looking to kill Kenny. You bastard gets it. Dashy, oh, from the top side of Heli. And Shotzi eyes on these players in this 1v3, and he might be adding a clutch to his resume. He has put himself in a lovely position to get a couple. There we go. Yeah, there's number two. Kill yep. number one, take the MCW, preempt number two. Lovely damage, I don't have to really get it down, though, to recover the bomb. And that dive was perfect. He's completely obscured himself from view. 0-4 and a boozer now, and a bit of trouble. There's the plant. Let the games begin. 
Well, 04 sees him, but it is Houdini. Now the question is, can you track Shotzi? That is the most important question when you play on it. Oh, surely easy pincer formation. You saw him go down low. A boozer at one end of the snake. 04 at the end of the other one. Ah, that is it. The bomb defused. No more shenanigans there as Seattle Surge. These simple tricks from Shotzi don't fool them at all. First round. Yeah, no, might as well have had the uh, walls on for that moment. That's probably just great communication coming in from Seattle. 04 calls out, made it back towards the shack, irons it for an extra two or three seconds, says, I don't see him anymore. He never crossed left, never crossed right, had to have dropped down low. So easy reads for Seattle, a nice attempt there from Shotzi. But either way, 04, S&D stars coming out and just starts making plays. Not a lot of players, I think, are going to be jumping off the top rope to try to pistol child dashy, but... This is not a player that locks any confidence. It's him and Hook taking the deep on a ground route. Can't do it without his friends, though. It was only oh, a single burst or maybe two bullets from the Renetti that gets it down. The old 9 mil putting in the work. Kenny, though, the man of the moment, gets himself onto the board first and foremost there for Optic Texas with the first blood. Still T tree towards B with bomb. That's going to be Hook. Uh, that's Pred. You going to get the kill? Oh, dear. The fight continues. And now the play has been read. Optic circling. Yeah, it's a nice shot by Pred, and well, his teammates are going to deliver. Shotzi disappeared once again. Hook trying to get the call out from Bredgy, but had no idea where he went. Might win the gunfight, but does get traded out. No four in a one versus three. Smooth moves, get some information. Wins a gunfight up top. No, Shotzi is over as well. This could be a 1v3 right now from 04. Testing the clutch against Pred. Pred, oh my word, he's about to hit the corner. He may have seen it, Pred. Living up to the name. Oh! Slammed. Oh, slammed. 04, 1v3. And that is a scam and a half coming out of Optic in that moment. Shotzi, no reason to child trust himself, but he just gets caught. And then Pred just caught completely unaware, seemingly. And these are nice shots rolling through. He does get made to half HP, but Shotzi, too big of a child. And 04, not a player in this game mode. You want to give him an inch, he will take that mile. And poor Pratt, it feels like he, he barely shot back, even though he completely had the drop on him. Yeah, he definitely had eyes on, but 04, wonderful game awareness. That tacit understanding of just, you know, this is where that player could be. Did he have eyes on me? A beautiful bit of work, though. 04, 5 and 0. One more for the crews. We'll see if he can get it in this round. Yeah, that is certainly the man you're trying to set up right now. And you got a nice little stack on the bottom side of the map for Seattle. So he's pulled out the old MCW for this moment. Pred, though, just going to back him down. Gets the first bloods. And on a helicopter like that, no trades coming through. So a difficult round right now for Seattle to work with. And 04, no fear. He's getting active, trying to make a play. Unfortunately, though, gets caught. Teamwork on point there from Optic. Got a 4v2. Yeah, too many eyes there from the Optic lineup. They had eyes on. A man advantage now on the bomb down up to Texas. The quick scramble over by the B Street. They've got the elevator stack. The top side of the propane absolutely covered. Reggie, good luck on the approach now. Nothing left to throw at this, but his MCW, 30 to go. I can't just been throwing shoulders this entire time, just waiting for the info, but he's getting tagged up. Surger swarming, but well, Ken, the coverage is perfect. It was a decent try on the two versus four, but too smart and not scamming this time. I think Optic after that previous round, making sure to keep things contained. Nothing but endless shoulders being thrown. Dashy making moves down low and whether he got the kill or was just a distraction, the teamwork perfect there from Optic. Off the back of a Pred first blood. That was the bounce back round they were gonna need. And again, 04, he was on a five. He gets shut down as well. So as good as it gets for Optic Texas. Yeah, you got the insurance policy of, I believe it was Shotzi down low, just in case. The Kenny play from top propane doesn't work out. Nice work from Optic, get themselves on the board. Seattle Surge attacking round. Hoot with that bomb in hand with leaning towards the B side of the map, but a lovely big line, as you can see from the... Oh, actually, okay. O4 is going to go down low. He's backing up Hoot here. Shotzi might have his work cut out for him as these fellas are about to hit that corner at breakneck speed. And you had uh, information coming through. Pred's calling out players over by blue, so Shotzi gets active on this side of the map, but right now you just see what's happening. Abuza waiting to catch someone running out of blue, and... Seattle really playing for picks. They've isolated Shotzi. He's weak down low. The challenge, though, in the smoke. Hook lost track of Shotzi, as is tradition. And this is looking like a potentially dominant round. Shotzi at least gets the trade. All of a sudden, Abuza in a one versus two. We'll test the ice again. And he get it? He knows he's got a hit, life, hit point advantage here. Oh, dear. Unfortunate positioning. Not able to get it done. 
dashes out and about. He was simply the bait for the round win, two to two. And that is a blistering round where again, Shotzi just able to dance a little bit too much. Who had him tagged up and then disappeared in the smoke as elusive as you want him. Again, the name of the game, keep track of Shotzi because if you don't, well, he'll be the guy getting the final kill in the round. Nice shot by Dashi as well. He might have fallen to a boozer, but after he got tagged up, just buys enough time to get that support that he needed. So two back-to-back, -back, very solid rounds coming through. Shotzi continues to be that playmaker. Ah, yes. Which is the general consensus of quite a few teams in the league, particularly a purple one. Shotzi looking to make another play as he delicately balances himself atop high rise. Don't look down. You're not going to see much. It's much like the view from six star. Very, very high. waiting for maybe the map to slow down a bit this is just all about the timing ah. doesn't get it right Breji, easy reads catching shotzi from a what is it called the scaffolding route once again so tried and true but no dice on the first blood players getting tagged up back down as well surge nice little hold on the map maybe a smoke out the crossover towards b and make things mixier maybe pred just trying to distract hoping a kill falls into his lap this is a wild slow round isn't it a boozer my lord he took a lot of hits there not enough to bring down the mighty belgian bruce down low it's the prone Pook. oh damn gets hit and Optics spring to life. Breji, the last man alive in the 1v2. He might be able to catch one, but Kenny's there on the inside of the elevator. That should be the round. Oh, I love this, though. Breji, gone. Quick read. Is he going to see this player? Kenny lines up. Damage dealt. Nice positioning. And once again, Kenneth William closes out the round for Optic as they take the lead. Yeah, no, Kenny for president or mayor or whatever. He got three kills in that round. He picked off 04 when they already had the man disadvantage and just finds a couple extra kills as well. So you want to talk about 04 being an S&D superstar. Kenny was that back in ghosts. So S&D, certainly his bread and butter and wheelhouse as well. A seasoned veteran at this point is Kenny, and he just delivers time and time again. These are a lot of nail-biter rounds where it feels like Seattle are getting the advantage. Like Hook had the intel on Dashy down low, but just a sort of skilled diff. Uh, potential right now from Optic winning very difficult rounds. And he's, still, he's a vet. He's still only 24. So good stuff, Ken. Gotzi. Assassinate him. You have to. No, he it's doesn't. He has to just, just shoot him. Just shoot him. No. Mm, yeah, come man. on. It's a league game, man. Come on. Like, you can't be doing that. But here comes the smoke and joke from Shotzi. His boys are backing him up on the B side. 0-4. Looking to make the flank a safer place. He's diligently clearing out that building and he's not going to be able to... Nah, he's going to be happy with that. Take the kill, run for it. His teammate does lose the bomb. Hook's gone. So now it's a 2v3. Yeah, just a good job by 04 to not hesitate going to hunt down that kill, but still more plays need to be made. And there it is. Breggy through the wall. Rips Pred. He got a 2v2. 04 getting tags in Kenny. They're now worried about Breggy down low and 04 hunting these players down. The teamwork on point and the bailout right be or might be here for Surge. Still got to execute in the 2v1 though. Dashy, we talked about a boozer. Dashy was number one. Yeah, Dashy was number one. Will he stay number one? Oh, tags, Breggy. Better finish the kill. You have to finish him. 04 now. Test your metal against the king of the hill. What a play. Big Bruce, they walk right into him. It's the easiest of reads as he gets a little birthday treat with the defuse by B. Yeah, and he's just thinking that's just disrespectful. That's how they're chowing him. Like he might be tagged up, but they didn't make him work. Just walk right into the pre-aim. So that she might be feeling disrespected, but maybe thankful for the birthday present Surge just gave to him. And Bruce. 404, again, just gets read like a book. Yeah, he was even fully regen as well. He was uh, he was a couple of, like a millisecond away from full health. He still managed to get the job done with the MCW. 04, right instincts, right place, wrong time. Dashy, too fast. 4-2, Optic, starting to walk away with it. And we talk about grinders. Dashy might actually have the most search and destroy experience over a multitude of titles. So he's happy in those clutch moments. He'll read everything except for the double hit down low. Hook running forward. 04 looking O for him. And maybe a strat to punch him in the mouth. But Fred punches right back. Hook though there for the trades. 04 and Hook, SMG duo flying together, having a lot of fun. Man advantage. 
the dash in. Oh, Kenny, well, yeah. Shout out to Apple. Well, 1v1 actually, 1v1. 1v1. <laughs> Kenny versus a boozer. Will it phase Kenny knowing who he's up against? Damn, maybe it should have a boozer. <laughs> Adds another one to the pile. Kenny's face. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny's face says it all. Well, here's the win from a boozer's POV, and he does not miss. Dude, this is the game that almost just like all the stats have just been aligned. Here's Breggy blowing up the entire lobby, including himself. That's where I got confused. I didn't realize Breggy died to it as well. So an exploding canister tank killing three in the round. Luckily, though, for Breggy that Abuza still gets the final kill. But we've had Dashy, number one clutch player, winning the clutches. Abuza winning his ones towards the end. 4 playmaking for the search and destroy. On a statistical front, this series is delivering just as Breggy is for the first two kills and Seattle is for the round. Kenny, here we go. <laughs> 1v3. This round has been so fast. 4-4. Four, four. It's a banger. Optic were not present for that one. Breggy's two off the rip certainly helps. Okay. Let's just run well, the next one. <laughs> it, yeah, and look, the round before, like, who can 04 just ran down the underground, like, left rain, straight it off to Texas? What does Breggy do at the start of that round? Watches that exact lane and picks up the two piece. So, right now, Seattle Surge doing a good job on the mind game front, but. Before I yap too much, next round is going, and it could end in 10 seconds. Yeah, but he, yeah. Oh, the yap's got to go, mate. I apologize. That'd be the last time I ever said it. It's all right. You're, we'll talk about this later. 3 v one 3 to 3 one split for Surge as they overwhelm the A-bomb site, and they are going for it. This is caution to the wind, and Hook, oh my word, he could have run into that. Bomb still down low there from... Kenny, as you're making your way across the map, Hook's got himself a corner. He's going to sit pretty for now. Middle of the map, spicy scenes. Pred walks away with one. Immediate trade. Brazy's on the board. Kenny's on the bomb. Oh, and Hook might be making the play. It's all about the timing. And Dashy with the MCW wins a big one. The difference maker until Shotzi hand ones away. Abuza and Breggy, long-time duo, looking for the clutch, but that is not the start Abuza was looking for. Kenny wins that gunfight 10 out of 10 times. Yeah, absolutely. That's there. Heady is a beast. Reggie, though, with some smooth moves. Kenny. Oh, wow. The crossfire was there instantly. As soon as his head crossed the precipice of the brick wall, it was gone. Breggy down. Optic Texas map point. Yeah, and credit to Dashy as well. Again, that pickup he had on Hook, literally the difference maker in the round instead of the fear and panic that sits in when Hook gets behind you. Dashy keeping everything under lock and key. Former teammates with Hook. I think he has some idea about the play style. And for a team right now, Optic, winless on this map, going against Seattle with a perfect record. The fact that they got 1v3 that early on and right now have the lead, impressive stuff in SD. Yeah, that's actually ridiculous. One more round's all Optic need. Can we see a round 11? I think this search, we deserve it, right? For Dashi's birthday. Come on, guy. Jolty, though, does not want anything to do with round 11. Traded out immediately. Good work from both teams. 04 though wants it. How bad though? Pred says Nabra. Guns him down. Stays alive. 2v2. As the pressure now on towards the oh. A side of the map. And my god, I thought it was gonna be some friendly fire there. Abuza hits the high ground. Gets into the feed. Abuza forces the round 11. Dude, smooth moves up top as well. I don't know if he heard him or just the instinct was flowing, but those players from Optic lined up and stacked just for a second, and then they panicked. They didn't know where to run, didn't know what the plan was or where they wanted to go, and Abuza going to break them down. Surely you do not lose a game where your rookie player clutches a 1v3. Seattle Surge have found their way to around 11. The perfect record is on the line. Here we go. Big moments now. Gongs out, dongs out in this round 11. Bring it all. You don't get to take anything with you into the next match. Shots, he's going down low for the immediate flank chance. You've got two members of Optic over towards A on the attack. And Hook might be downstairs for the opening fight. Yeah, Surge playing hefty right now just to get this information. Nobody making aggressive moves on the map yet, just yet. Chati and Hook, they know that well, one another are going to be underground. But Optic right now, just a slow approach on this map. Surge are basically giving them nothing. 
I mean, you got Abuza playing depths, O4 is in the depths as well. Breji playing an angle for the crossover towards B, so it is a good setup now from Surge. Optic going towards that exploding barrel. The one man who's going to make the play for you. Oh, has been stunned. The unpredictable drop there, no one's going to guess. You think he's on the B-bomb site, you're checking it now. It's Hook who's moved in for it, but Shotzi is still alive, and he's still behind you. It is Predator Shotzi, the submachine gun duo of Optic Texas to get it done. Reggie's there for it in the feed as well. Abuza runs away with his life. Reggie now trying to find something here as the clock fast ticking away and Optic Texas proved to have too much there as they close it out. And I'm pretty sure I let Red thank F for that. 2-0 in the series after a spicy round 11. Yeah, that is a tough round 11 where Shotzi, again, playmaker. I think he had some idea somehow that Breju was in the elevator because when he was doing like the generator jump up, he was leaning that direction. Surge might have backed him down, but just overwhelming presence they were able to get. I think Pred might have picked up the kill on O4 as well in that final round, maybe exacting revenge for that 1v3, but very solid game coming in from Optic. Again, they had seven out of the 11 first bludge, which is not too shabby. The 1v3 might have been a, a bit of a stain on their record, but hey, they clutched up in the end. Shout out to Bruce for the 1v2s pick up on Hook as well. Shotzi, that ever-present playmaker. And even when like things were getting tough, Ken was the one that sort of like was your anchor in the, the middle rounds there as well. So Optic wheeling and dealing, 2-0 up in the series, and they get to go to a Karachi control where, if you remember the stats, a 1-16 record in control in their last 17 is Seattle Surge. So if you're a betting man, put the house on Optic. That's not ideal, is it? Wow, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go to a quick commercial break where we mull over what was an interesting high rise. Say what you will about the map. That one was a lot of fun. We come back. We're playing Karachi Control here. Optic Texas taking on Seattle Surge. Don't go too far, ladies and gentlemen. This is the CDL. Are you already doing that? Upgrade your game with the SCUF, the official controller of the Call of Duty League. The Call of Duty League is brought to you by Monster Energy, the official energy drink of the CDL.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Map three on its way, and we have two tickets to the gun show here. Kenny flexing for the fans at home. Arctic Texas taking on Seattle Surge. And this is going to be a fun one. We've got a bit of control. Not fun if you're a Seattle fan, because their record chance, as you said before the break, less than ideal. Well, but I mean, what might be ideal? What is going on a Pred screen? Like Dashi and Shati locked in, but now even Kenny started to join them on the player cam. So Pred is actually, maybe he's spitting the profound truth of the ancient Greeks to his teammates before, but uh, what is the profound truth of the year for Seattle Surge, if that's a decent segue. Uh, again, their control stats, not very good going into this map three. It can be a very uh, painful overall. Like again, one in 16 in their last 17 is insane. Granted, that one win did come in the past two months but for attacking rounds 20 percent not ideal to be that bad on defense on the maps that we have is a spectacle yeah and, and like that's just not like that doesn't make sense looking at these stats as well if what if you're going one and seven you played eight games to control and you've lost two round fives that means every other game you've lost before that that yeah is even tougher so seattle search you got a lot of homework to do on control. Let's find out if you can find some of that sweet, sweet magic. Maybe cheat the test without doing the homework. But good luck against this sort of team, especially against Shotzi, who's going to run circles around you and quite frankly drive you insane. I mean, yeah, I don't know what map I would like solidify as his playground, but I think Karachi might be the front runner. Like he does just dance around it. Yeah, it's way, way up there. There's so many nooks and crannies, things to hide behind, things to climb upon, routes to take. There's one right there, which we won't mention. Here we go, boys and girls. Dash here to top third, eyes on towards eight. Yeah, you see the nade was at least gonna slow down the players of Seattle, if not connect. So no birthday nade kills there from Dashy, but the hill time being collected by the fearsome twosome down low. Shotzi making moves for the kills. A bunch of trades rolling through, but Seattle Surge end up coming out on top of the kills column. Damn. And what a stun. I have no idea where that came from, but it buys 0 for a kill. Seattle Surge, though, terrible team on defense. B has been left open, and two players from Optic gonna be on it. Wait, and that's just the truth, ain't it? Dashi gets two, no more out of that one, but that's enough for his boys to get into B. There's Shotzi, one pump done, out to back door he goes. Pred there to help him out, and that is immaculate teamwork once again from Optic Texas. Get yourself that point, boys, stack it. Just jump on there, fellas, shoulder to shoulder, hold hands. Don't worry about that old six foot nonsense. We put that in the past. Yeah, I love it. This is the rank play special. Unless who can make the play and find a couple extra kills, which no, Dashy just catches them. He's been reading Hook very well. Yeah, rank play special, Seattle Surge. That is at least the third time I remember them doing this on this map where they have a good opening break. Nobody fills in red and blocks the junk spawns at all. Oh and then they lose the easier to defend point first. This is becoming painful to watch. And that's the sort of stuff we're talking about. That's the playground gameplay. But Shotzi finds two, just lays prone in a weird spot, gives himself more of an angle. Preds can't get both. 0 4 fights his way out. But he's basically gone. This is the round. Okay, control. Not it for Surge in the opening round. I, nah, I mean, again, they do virtually everything right off the rip, and then they just like forget about the most important part of the map. So. Uh, again, Surge, I remember that is at least the third time I've seen that exact sort of thing play out where they get a decent bit of map control and then they just let the floodgates open on the other side of the map. Sometimes it's just unfortunate, but a lot of the times it is just uh, incorrect play. And Surge, again, a team with a 33% win rate on defense showing off the goods there. Time out, time out real quick. Something to resolve here for our two teams after that first round, which, man, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Charles, you know what I'm saying? I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah, chat knows what I'm saying too. But Seattle Surge, defensive round's not great. Let's see how they attack though. Uh, the B attack on Karachi you know, since MW3 dropped has been uh, the absolute staple. It's been something that's been so well rehearsed by all of our pro teams, something that everyone in, nearly in ranked play knows exactly how to do and, and the priority you place towards that one. A's a little bit, you know, a bit more open and open and shut. You've got a player on top AC, top third, maybe he's going to be the crucial player in that moment. So you're looking at the green flank to take care of him. Red gets a lot of love as that sort of transition between A to B. A lot of usual looking, you know, plays here. I wonder if Surge... With 0-4 in the lineup, have cooked up anything funky here in the attacking round? 
Uh, well, I don't know how much funkiness you could really like uh, pull out the stops for. Maybe an interesting B hit, try to work on some nades over the top, catch the guy on dumpster. So we'll see if there is creativity on that front. I will say for 04, I do appreciate the, the level of aggression that he brings to the table. Even for a moment like Shotzi behind the desk, I'm thinking easy gunfights, easy reads. He's chucking out the nades and whatnot, but 04 literally just flying at him, getting good shots in and at least applying the pressure. So a player that, I mean, we saw it in the first two maps, like Surge are making optic work for these wins. Yeah. Like on the P3 we had on the old six star, optic had to put in the absolute extra mile to make it happen play surge are making or at least forcing the round 11s uh, on the s d but making a top four team work for something and actually getting a win to largely different stories and obviously being down 0-2 in the series long way to go yeah th that's a really good way of putting it. it it sort of feels like while we do have a clear-cut top four everyone beneath that they're on like a, a, a it's a thin veil at times and this seattle moment that was a thin line between absolutely running one of the best teams in the game on a hard point map and them just being better than you. It, it, it is that close. That's really what we're dealing with in some situations. Optic Tex is still clearly, I think Ali called it on the desk, could have been nameless. They're the second best team in the world right now. That is the way it goes. You know, FaZe still very much in that top spot. If you can take them to task in harder maps, if you can run them when it comes to round 11s on search, I mean, albeit a little bit of shenanigans, a good game of hard point, you can apply that same level of intensity and practice to the uh, the rest of the teams within that bottom four, make that run in the CDL points, get yourself to champs. That's what it's all about. If you can't beat him now, at least try to beat him at the end of the year. Learning, always learning. That's the name of the game. And like within 30 points for the hard point games, the round 11s, the round fives in control. It is funny that Optic, like for all of those stats, none of them have looked good, but as Nameless pointed out, basically all of those are playing against Atlanta phase because what we've seen in this series is Optic yeah. icing up time and time again. Ice up in the round 11s, bounce back after the 1v3, winning the close hard point, even though they're on the back foot the entire time. So it really is just a, a tale. I mean, again, the theme of this year has been the top four versus everybody else. Carolina making a dent in our first series, mm. but right now Seattle Surge struggling to replicate that same success. Carolina well hoping to make their way to champs, as should you folks. We're almost ready to go, but we wanted to remind you once more, Woo. Championship Weekend 2024 tickets are on sale right now. If you have managed to get a ticket, tweet myself and Chance that you'll be there and we'll give you a high five or an open mouth Kiss. No, I cannot promise the open mouth. Kiss. I got the high five. I okay. got the high five most likely too. We'll see how things go. But 18th to the 21st of July, we will be there at the Credit Union of Texas Event Center, and so will some of the finest teams in the world. We'll find out who later on in this season as we start to cut off, trim the fat, cut the chaff. Was that championship weekend 2024? Find out who really is the best Call of Duty team in the world, at least on MW3. And, you know, not to, I'm going to knock on wood so I don't jinx this sentence, but maybe the best advice I've been given in a competitive Call of Duty context was from Neslo. Like, I think back in Advanced Warfare, where I was like going for a high five or a handshake or something and said fist bumps only. Yep. That's how people get sick. It's the handshakes. Just go for fist bumps. I have lived by that, and I've only caught the land flu like twice in yep. my like nine or 10 years. So, shout out Neslo. It's not just the two, three, five, it's the life advice as well. He's been very helpful. Yeah, I might not go for the open mouth kiss then if we're going fist bumps only. Object Texas up by one. We have continued the lobby. That's because we have a sweet pause feature here in the Cool G League in the 2024 season. 04. Takes care of Pred's feet. Interesting. Yeah, Lay G doing what he does. The, honestly, the nickname's radical. You know how dangerous it is <laughs> to be in a professional Call of Duty environment and have a name with numbers in it? That's like, you're rolling yeah, the yeah. dice. Also, you just you just said Lay G. Ali said yesterday that the bomb got laid, and I was like, hey, yeah! Are we having too much fun? We're having too much fun. So is Optic, because as soon as it booze falls, I was going to say, Spawn Trap, look at the difference between these two teams. Kenny is cutting off the map for the players trying to go towards B when they get that close spawn. And it looks like Surge actually still going to be able to bully and make their way through. So you can see how difficult it can be at times. But Optic certainly putting on at least a little bit more pressure on the defensive end. Shotzi behind enemy lines, waiting for his teammates to get in the mix before he makes his jump towards the time. How good is the flank timing? There's the first kill. Who damaged out Shotzi on point with the flanks. He has it down to a science. No way. He's got so much damage in as well. Can he get this next player? His boys are there. Optic Texas evicts Seattle Surge 
from the cafe, from the B zone. There's a single minute to play. There are two segments remaining in the game. And Seattle, you've cooked up something special. Can you finish your plate? I mean, I don't know. This is just problematic because as soon as you go towards B and get bullied out, then it like becomes desperation, maybe just to go towards the A zone. And you're fighting two front war. You got Hook trying to get the A zone. You got other players applying pressure towards B. So this is a mixy moment that is the difference maker for teams. And right now, Abuza making plays. He might fall, but at least he bought the pressure to make sure A is secure. So Seattle, they handle the spiciness and... Well, they don't handle the stun grenade. They are still back to square one, but obviously only a tick that they need over towards B. They have that opportunity to strike. You the opportunity. You've dealt with a couple of hot ones. The spice was not too much of a factor for you, Seattle Surge. Do you have the answer for the questions that Optic Texas will be asking about your attacking round? Lone Man right now is dashed over by the B side of the map. We're watching Pred roam the halls of the hotel. It's his hotel as he has Overlook over the map. Big wins, nice. big wins. Good night. Brad read him the story, put him down to bed, and again, you are stuck in your spawn with six lives remaining. Talk about this being Shotzi's playground, 17 and 7. Brad right now, masterclass performance. Yeah, got that, Brad. Eight, seven. There we go. 18 and kills now in total. It's going to come to an end. He's still got that streak to play with. Now is an opportunity, though, in all that fun and games for Brady to get on to the point. He's been, yeah, he's in. This is big. No lives left for Seattle, though. It's toe to toe with Kenny. If Kenny wins the fight, that's it. Breji, stay down, stay alive, stay safe, and stay winning. This could be it. Sends it through the front. Shotzi wins the fight. His teammates can't get there in time. 04, slow to the draw. There's still an opportunity here. But Optic have drained the segment last 30. I mean, there's no real opportunity. The setup is just deadly. You're going to have to spin and do 180s to be able to trade these kills, let alone win the first one. 04 does give it to you, but Kenny getting sent in for the trades. 04 is called out one shot, and Kenny does damage before he falls. Abuza. Oh, we should. We jinxed him talking about that Ethernet cable, didn't we? Yeah, that blue Ethernet cable choked up a little bit. <laughs> him, That's the wrong color. Yeah. That was definitely the wrong one. I wonder how uh, green the Optic Texas Ethernet cables are. I'm going to need a picture. Hitch, if you could hear me. Let's get a snap at a get a snap at a setups, brother. Red, what a round it was. The final kill though, he was laying prone in the street, not like him. Does spell demise. Another good round, and here we go. One more for the 3 0. And I'd say the, the big moment of that round, like Pred going on a tear is wonderful, but when the pressure was on B, Shotzi again, the timing he had on the flank is everything making sure he's not the first to engage. And talk about creativity. Shotzi making noise at A, he stepped foot on the zone and Surge. That's where they're expecting the pressure to be. You have two players in Coop. Meanwhile, Optic Texas are gonna have three on the B zone. That is annoying. I mean, that's one way of putting it. Shotzi now, he's just running around. His boys are capturing the first segment of B. Here comes a boozer. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. And picking up from the back kitchen. Get slashed in there. The first segment's long gone, though. Good work in the opener. And Shotzi, some say he's still running around the middle of the map. Dude, that was a hell of a break there from, I think, Reggie, especially picking up the two kills, having good comms to tell Abuza where to run. So that's a big moment for Seattle, but maybe Dashie going to even things back out. Wins two big ones, and that'll be a four-man wipe, and you might have been stuck in your spawn for a brief moment, but you get out instantly, and you take so much map control Shotzi and Pred pushed up together. I mean, the AR players right now on Optic, it's just, it's a cakewalk. They know exactly where they need to go, where to fill in. Lives are easy right now. Yeah, very much. 21 and 10 for Pred. He's looking good. So who's that cruise to play with? Great gunfight there from 04, just managing to catch him out. Clear in house, Shotzi gets another one in the middle of the map. Keeps the A capture going. This is nice work from the green team. 04 once again with another big 1v1, but he is trapped in that little nook. Good luck getting out of there, mate, as the A zone still comes to a capture. Oh my god, that's a great child, too. I was thinking for 04, he just needs to distract for Breggy coming on the flank, but 04 literally snaps and does it himself. So big wins coming through for the moment, and well, Seattle Surge keeping the pressure up. A lot of kills, though, going towards Optic, and anytime Surge have a nice little moment, it seems like Optic just have a better one. Pred thinking about some spawn kills, gonna be a nuisance. Oh my god. 
finally gets traded out, but you can see he is making him work for it. And that, that's it, man. You get all that damage done. The nades are there. You send in Shotzi to pick up the two Bridgie, though, on the other side gets two of his own. And you still haven't finished the capture on A. Dash, he's trying to get it done himself. Here comes a big attack from Seattle Surge. We might be seeing them get on the round defensively. Oh, oh there it is. Another brought to their knees. It's a two life differential and 21 seconds to go. Still have to retake B though, right? And Abuza not going to be the cutoff man. Wants to go to the point, but Kenny gets back down immediately. So a very slow capture, desperate for the kills. Abuza finds the break, the entry. He is in war. He is in hell. He is going to fall as everyone else on Surge does as well. Again, they give up the B point. And again, they get broken down. Optic Texas, a minute and 20. Now just to capture A. Cruz hits in the back line, and that is enough to get the boys of Optic safe passage over towards A. Back into the spawn, you go, Seattle Surge. This is the series right here. Nice streak usage, nice teamwork, nice job on the 3 0. Cool high fives out there as the boys got to be feeling good about that one. Control continues to be a problem for Seattle Surge, but everything else squeaky clean for the green team. Yeah, and I think the green team might have been laughing at the maybe mean and disrespectful performance on Seattle Surge, leaving that B zone open on cooldown. Just how many times did they walk in uncontested, never getting tagged up on the cross, getting the pressure there for free? So Optic time and time again able to pull it off and I mean, the stats guys, furious as always, when somebody leaves the game, 04, just came from challengers, hitting the old rage quit. A nuisance for everyone that puts in a ridiculous amount of work behind the scenes to bring us the wonderful stats that we've had. I know the graphics today have been on point, yep. and I hate that their lives get made more difficult. So 04, hopefully, don't have to see that one again. Naughty, naughty, 04, naughty, naughty. Could have also liked lag. I mean, maybe something weird happened, but yeah, not a fun